Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Stardew Valley. Like always, if you guys have missed out on any episodes, you can always go back, check out the playlist, get yourself caught up on the ones that you have not yet seen. Let's go ahead and jump on right back into it here. Let's load it on up and uh, see what we can get into. It's been a little while since we've, uh, since we've jumped into it, so this is going to be interesting. Also, let me know if I'm having any, like, audio issues or anything like that, uh, because this is a new, a new laptop that I'm running this on. I think I got everything set up right, but we'll see. I was having audio issues, be audio issues before, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it's running right. I need to, I think, change at least the music settings. I think the music is a little bit too loud all the time, and it definitely doesn't help. Okay, I have it turned down quite a bit. Turn it pretty far down. Turn everything down a bit. Maybe that'll be good. Oops. I didn't mean that. Yo, Larry Man in the chat. What up, buddy? I'm doing good. How you doing? We out here Stardew Valleying. Got me a little bit of an ingot. It is a rainy day. I got some stuff to harvest. A letter. Oh, good God. Things are happening. Um, it'd be a good day to hop down into the mine, try and get some more mining levels. I, uh, I do want to upgrade my stuff. I do need some copper. I also want to get me some good old, um, whatchamacallit them? Sprinklers. Yeah, I need a lot of copper for sprinklers, too. Copper and iron. This stuff, we could sell all that. That's pretty good. Missing. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it... Please return it ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold for whoever finds the thing. Ooh. Yo, uh, Larry Man says good, bro. Good, good, nice. Good to hear. How's, uh, how's everything sounding? All the, all the noises sound pretty good? Let's see. Maybe... Maybe we could do some upgrades. That might be something I could do today. I've got a decent bit of this. And actually, I've got more to schmelt on up. Glad you're doing good, though, uh, Larry Man. Asante, I'm literally watching your New Vegas series on my TV right now. Nice. You're liking it? I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're enjoying. It has been fun. It's my, uh... Oh, I forgot I have to go to this. It's my first time playing through it, so... I'm experiencing everything for the first time also. I think people kind of enjoy that. Larry Man says good. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's always kind of a, a gamble. Like, I'm doing this out from the van on uh, Starlink and with the laptops. It's always a gamble if, like, things are going to be right or not. But uh, I think it seems pretty good. New laptop seems to be running pretty solid. Slime Hunter. Slay four green slimes in the local mine. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm going to do that today. It's raining. Good day to uh, good day to go do that. Bean the Gamer. What up, Bean? He says, uh, sounds good. Go, you. That's what he says. Uh, Santi says, great playthrough. Fantastic game. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're liking it. Uh, Tuesday... I think on Tuesday I'm probably going to go live on that again, so if uh, you're able to catch it when I'm live, stop by and say what's up. My dude Clint, I need to talk to you. Oh, he's not open yet. Dude, I got 10 minutes to wait till he's open. God dang it, he's always doing this. Uh, Santi says, are you traveling right now? Not at the moment. I would like to be, but not right now I'm not. Hopefully one of these days soon I'll be hitting the road. Uh, Larry Man says Skyrim your game? Yeah, dude. Uh, Skyrim too. That playthrough is going pretty well. I'm enjoying that. I'm a Skyrim guy, you know. It's just how it is. Upgrade. Yeah. Oh, it costs a lot of money. Is it worth it? You know what? I was saving... No, you know what? It's not because I was saving money to get the backpack upgrade. 
So if I have what I need for that, that's definitely what I gotta do. Let's go check on that, and then let's hit the mines. It's so tough to manage your time in this game. To get everything just right. Pierre, I'm coming. Don't close. What do we got? What do we got? How much? Two. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm doing that for sure. That is well worth it. You got the large backpack. Uh, your inventory space has increased to 24. Fan freaking tat. Oh, that's so nice. Dude, that is great. Now we can, like, put some of this junk down here. Put some of this junk up here. Yeah, that's good stuff. We're gonna go hit the mines. Now we can collect all the freaking loots. I should also maybe buy some seeds. I'm so indecisive also, so it's like... Okay, I'm gonna go here, and then I'm... God dang it. I'm gonna... Here, I'm gonna give you a flower about it. You brought me a present. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. How you doing? Well, it looks more interesting in the rain, don't you think? I do think so. It's my girl, Abigail. Gotta give her the flower and buy a bunch of parsnips. Whatever's left of my money going right into the parsnips. We're gonna plant all that up. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, we should be back. Bob Boblin, what's happening? Yeah, we are back, I believe. Uh, we had a little bit of an internet cut out. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, we'll see. We'll try. We'll see what we can do here. Give it a try. I think it's because it's uh, so like when you set up Starlink, usually you want to give it like 24 hours to end up getting your best connection. I set this up tonight, like right before streaming, and uh, it needed updates, and you know it it didn't have the time to like connect and stabilize and stuff. So I think that may be why it kind of cut out. But Ooh, we can go down to level five. We can fight these butt bugs. Grab some butt meat. <laughs> butt meat. <laughs> I mean, um, bug meat? Not butt meat. We're not grabbing butt meat, so... Don't, uh... Don't you worry about it. We gotta get down to level 10. That's gonna be our next, uh, stop off. I do gotta mine some copper. I gotta start mining iron, but I think I might need the copper upgrade right before I uh, can do iron. Am I right on that? Nothing. I think last time, didn't I get down to a point... Oh, I did pick up some copper. Didn't I get down to a point where it was like a boss area or something? Not a boss area, but like a mob, just a mob zone. Where you just had to fight like a whole bunch of uh, slimes or something like that. Hey, you want some of this, pal? Pick up this crystal, whatever this is. I think I did have a goal to fight a bunch of slimes, right? Wasn't there some kind of quest you do for that? I think it was worth like 250. Definitely worth it. Oh, he mad. He getting red eyes. He mad. I will frig you up. That sucks. We were having good viewership right before we had a cut on the uh, the old internets, the old interwebs. Come on, crab. Get the butts out of here, you dumb, stupid... He didn't even drop his body. God dang it. How dare you not even drop your body. I hate when they do that jump at you. It really cheeses me off. And yes, I did say cheese. We all like cheese here. You may be lactose and tolerant, but you still like cheese. You gotta be bonkers in the head if you don't like cheese. I think I can I craft like uh, a bug steak? Uh, I need 10. Oh, that's kind of butts. Whoop. 
Frig off, Mr. Slime. Don't like you. Oh, he was the ladder man. I definitely, I know for a fact I need a pickaxe upgrade to, to hit these ones, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe it just takes a while. Yeah, okay. Cool. We got time, though. It's only 4 o'clock. We just... It's 4.20, actually. Nice. We gotta get down to level 10. Two more levels. Just gotta keep my energy up. You know, I could eat some flowers. Does that get your health and your energy, or... What is that doing for me? I don't think that did anything for me, actually. I might have to eat that slimy crap. Oh, I forgot about these stupid worm things. Go on, get. Be gone. Don't put green goop on me. I hate it. You've upset me. Uh, Larry Man back. What up, Larry Man? Yeah, we're back. Uh, like I was explaining to uh, Bob Boblin there, whenever you set up the Starlink, they you generally want to have like 24 hours for it to get the most stable connection. So usually, like, I'll set it up and I'll have it up for the whole weekend, and it's like you know it's always pretty solid. I usually don't have cutouts, but um, this time I just set it up tonight, and it had to do a bunch of updates and uh, didn't really have the time to stabilize connection, like you know, like the 24 hours like you're supposed to give it. So I think that might have been the uh, the problem here, but we are back and we're at it, so no worries. And, uh, oh, you know what? I am not. I was going to say I should be recording, but uh, since I just set up Prism on this laptop, I did not change the settings to uh, record while I stream, so... Usually I record and then I re-upload them later on the YouTubes. I'll have to like download them and then stitch them together and upload them. It'll be alright. We'll get, we'll get it. So, uh, you play this game at all, Larry Man? Do you have any like tips for me? Anything you can tell me? Anything I should be doing that I'm probably not doing? Can I straight up eat the bug meat, I wonder? The green algae is pretty good. Hey, Bob Boblin says, this is Stardew. Yes, indeedy. Star poo. How did they jump so freaking far, man? That really cheeses me off. I hate when they do that. You don't jump that far. You're just a stupid little slime. I'm trying to find me some coal. I, it, like, coal is always a big problem for me. Oh, a cave carrot. That's going to keep me going. I think I can give that Amy this to somebody, too. Larry Man says, no, bro. It's a pretty fun game. I mean, it's a pretty chill game. You know, you can go in the mines and do some fighting, but for the most part, like, you can just build yourself a little farm and kick back and... Relax. I kind of like going in the mines. I mean, you kind of have to if you're going to progress. Um, and I mean, it's worth it getting getting the upgrades and stuff. But like, you can just chill and farm if you want. I really want to get the sprinklers. That's like my favorite thing is getting my farm to be where it, like I don't have to water it every day. Because it takes a lot of energy having to do that. Oh, he's got red eyes. He mad. He very mad. I did have a goal to, like, hit five slimes or something, didn't I? Actually, let's... What do we check here? Yeah, I'm, uh, Slay Monsters. Talk to Lewis. Oh, I should have talked to Lewis first. Gosh darn it. I think I busted it up. Uh, Larry Man don't have game. This is a pretty cheap game too. If you wanted to pick it up, I think it's like, ooh, I got a present. I think it's like, I don't know, less than ten bucks or something on Steam. Leather boots. 
received the leather boots. Hmm, is that better than one defense, one immunity? This is one immunity. Okay, so it is better than the slime. Let's throw them on. Yeah, we got some booties. And it's good timing because it's nighttime. I can bust on out of here, head home, plant my uh, crops that I just picked up. I should, I should grab this, right? I am an RPG guy. Dragon Age Four coming soon. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm pumped for that. I can't wait for more Dragon Age streams. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm the same way, but I do like the survival kind of crafting games too, because it's like. You can make your own story, you know, like, an RPG is cool when it has a good story, but I also like to be able to just kind of craft your own story, like Minecraft, there's no story to it really, but it's like what you make it. And that to me sometimes is more fun than, um, you know, like a set out story that's already made for you, you know? I got an ancient seed. I should probably... Yeah, yeah, I can go talk to Gunther. I should chop this. Gonna plant up. Nice. Gonna be a bit more monies for me. Got a couple things I think I can take to Gunther. Larry Man gonna try it on Xbox Series X. Nice, nice. I will be playing it on... Probably my, my home, you know, my indoor PC. I probably won't play that outside. I could try, like, I could try and do a outdoor stream of that. That is a possibility, but... I mean, it'll definitely run better on indoor PC, I'm sure. I always forget you can do that. You can, uh... Oh, right, yeah, I got this little thing. But I can also just do that, huh. Meltage up. You know, I should keep on me some of this stuff. I'll go talk to Gunther and drop this off. He'll probably like getting some of those things in his museum. Yeah, it's a good idea. I bet, um, I bet Dragon Age will run great on the Xbox, though. I mean, a lot of these games are, like, super optimized for the consoles, not so much for the PCs. Like, you really have to fudge around with some settings. New crafting recipe is Staircase. Hmm. Pickaxe proficiency leveled up. Nice. Ooh, look at that monies. Not enough yet for the pickaxe upgrade, which is a little bit of a bummer. Progress has been saved. I think we'll probably just go through one more day here and then call it. Ooh, look at all this. Get out of here, bird. You gotta hit like the day marker or night marker so you can uh, save your game. Otherwise your butt's out of luck. Why can't I have made all this money yesterday? That would have been nice. We could have done some more stuff today that we're not going to get to do now because we didn't make all this cash. Dear... Oh, what is the Mo Lewis voice? Dear Jake, tomorrow we're holding an egg festival in Town Square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Hmm, okay, okay. We shall do that. So, uh, next stream, because like I said, we'll do one more day here, and then we'll call it. So next stream, we'll be doing an egg hunt. That'll be interesting. That'll be something neat to do. See what you're saying? Uh, so used to the RPG back in 97 to 24, love mods. Yeah, with mods too, that really does add a lot. A lot to a lot of these games. This I'm actually also playing. I'm playing this on the Nintendo Switch, too. You can get this on PC also, but... 
I had it on I've had it on switch for a long time so I was like yeah you know what I've got it it's like right up my alley as far as games that I generally kind of play so figured I'd go for it I do also want to play uh, Terraria I've never really dabbled with that like I should have so that that'd be a fun one to uh, mess around with All right, so we gotta head into town. It's good timing, we got our stuff done. Maybe I should buy some more parsnips. We're gonna make a lot of money this night. But we can grab some more parsnips and then make even more money. We're just like stacking the bread right now. Ah, oh, it's not open yet. Where's Mayor Lewis? I need to have a chat with him. He did want to say something about the slimes. Ah, huh, Jake, so you've helped with the slime problem. Thank you. I hope you didn't go through too much trouble. Those slimes can be pretty dangerous in groups. Uh, it should be a little easier to go spelunking now, thanks to your efforts. Enjoy your rewards. Ooh, did he pay me for that? Or is he? Okay, yeah, we get money here. Nice. Okay, so that's a good bit of money. I have no idea where Robin's axe would be. I have to go enter the, uh, oh, I have to do the Adventurers Guild, too. I've made it. I'm part of their group now. God dang, like, there's just so much to do. I can't keep up with all this. I'm, like, honestly, I'm extremely glad that I got the backpack upgrade, though. Uh, BG3 getting mods on PS5 and Xbox September 7th. Nice, nice. I still gotta get into BG. I should, uh, I should do that at some point soon. Like, I've already got a lot of games I'm still trying to get through. Like, I'm trying to get through Fallout New Vegas. Trying to get through Starfield still. Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. I still want to get through that. And, uh... I kind of want to lean more into the laptop streams, I guess. Like, I kind of want to do more stuff from the van, because that's always fun. Hey, it's Penny. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. Okay, thanks for that one. I got a lot to donate, Mr. Gunther. You're going to be very happy. Oh, I got a new reward. Uh, let's throw the ancient seeds here. Kind of keeping the rocks to, like, here. Nice. Uh, poop them up, says poop them up. Uh, Pojav player, yo, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the stream. I am glad to see you here. Uh, Larry Man says you will like it, bro. Yeah, dude, I, I really think I will. Uh, some, a lot of people were saying it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like, it's a bit Dragon Age like. It's kind of a fill in for Dragon Age. All this time we've been waiting for the next Dragon Age. This has been kind of like a filler for that. We got ancient seeds. We got an ancient seed recipe. We got cauliflower seeds. So that's definitely pretty interesting. I got a lot of things to go plant. What's the ancient seed going to give me? Uh, should we process some geodes? We got one. We might as well rocks thanks dude that's freaking great upgrade tools watering oh, i don't have enough money but the watering can would be nice uh shop i could buy a little bit of this let's see do i have i have the sprinkler recipe i need an iron bar for that i need five iron and not gonna have enough. Uh, Pojav says, I saw the video from somebody who did the Jake Games Execute Order 66. Yeah, that was uh, Chaseco. That was pretty good. Poop em up says, which is poops come f comes from, where poop comes from. 
Uh, Poe Jeff said it was funny. Poop him up says Chase Co. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, Chase Co. I'm going to start buying some iron, I guess. I guess it's worth it, right? If we get like a couple more, we can sell this. Okay. That doesn't quite get me another iron. Oh, I didn't mean to sell all that. But, gets me another iron. I think I still need one more. And I need some coal. I just kind of wasted all my money, I feel like. <laughs> that was not a... I don't think that was the best move. I got some more plantables, though. At least getting, like, one sprinkler could be good, right? Uh, what time does the Adventurer Guild... The Adventurer Guild opens kind of late, doesn't it? Isn't it, like, 2 o'clock? Uh, Larryman says PC got a lot of mods for Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. Oh, yeah. P that's the one... That's kind of the nice thing with PC is you always get a lot more mod support. Like, and especially outside of just the allowed mods from the game. Like, usually there's a lot of mods. Um... Like, unapproved mods, I guess. Which, a lot of times are better than the mods that the games will, like, allow. Uh, Pojav said it was only a minute 53. Have you heard about the 360 news? No, what's that? Pumup says Chaseco doesn't watch Jake anymore. He, uh, did pop back in a little while ago. I think he was, like, busy with school and stuff, so he kind of was out on a lot of, uh, stuff in spring. We still are in spring, right? We should be good to plant cauliflower, I hope. Hopefully I'm not wasting my cauliflower seeds here. Should be enough. We're gonna need to water it all up. Might as well fill up. Uh, Poop Muff says a lot have come and gone. Yeah, we get people that come and go. I think it's because I play, like I said, I play so many different games um, that, like, people are interested in one game but not another, so they're there for the one game that they like. Once I move on to other stuff, they're like, oh, well, I guess I'm out. Larry Man says, see on YouTube. You see uh, a lot of mods on YouTube? You still talking about the mods, or... Ooh, Xbox 360 Marketplace is going to get shut down? Dang, that's crazy. That's why I'm, I'm kind of sick of all these games, like, being online. Why does everything have to be online? Why can I not just play a game that I own without having to have online support? Because, like, you know, I'm sure once, once they stop the support for that stuff, there's a lot of stuff that you're just not going to be able to get or do anymore. Which sucks, because, like, you bought a game, you should be able to play and do things with that game forever. You own it. Why is it now? Because online stuff gets shut down, now you're frigged. Cheese Lord left after Factor 4 was over. Favorite game is only the demo Forza Horizon. Too. You just like the demo of Forza Horizon, not the actual game? Is that what you mean to tell me? Ayo. Oh, I gotta come over here. Oh, that's like a list of what they want me to slay, huh? How do I talk to you? Do I talk to you? Come back. Come back when you got something to show me, kid. I want to talk. I would like to speak with you, my friend. I thought I was joining up. How do I... Like, what's the, what's the doodle? What's the doodle here? I don't want to... I don't want to, like, buy. I want to talk. Poe Jeff says, yes, the demo. Larry Man said lots of mods on Skyrim too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Pojo says yes to demo. 
Why just the demo, though? What the butts? Why, how do I talk to these guys? It said for me to come here. But yet, like, I can only go to his shop. I can't talk to him. This is, this is pooping, pooping me off. Poop him up says demolition. Why demolition? Do you want me to demolish things? That's not good. It's not good to demolish things. Unless they need demolishing. We're making some progress in the mines here, though. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We're down to level 11. <laughs> Poop em ups playing seven years to die. Pojav said uh, you have to buy the full game with money. Gotcha. So you just like playing the demo and not uh, paying the price for the full game? But wouldn't it be worth it to have the content of the full game? Like, if you can swing buying it? Like,. I'm sure there's a lot of content in the full game that you're missing out on by just playing the demo, right? I think I'm doing decent at combat here. No? No, I'm still doing horrible. I thought I was doing better, but I suck. $30 is the price? That's not bad. Not too shabby. They're way past um, Forza Horizon 2 now, aren't they? Like, what's the latest one? Bean likes seven years to die. And he's just sending a lot of money. A lot of different monies. I gotta find the friggin' iron level, man. Where's all the iron? What's the block button again? What the heck was the block button? It's not that. It's not that. How do you block? There we go. God dang it. I'm, I've been playing this game all this time and now I'm fudging up the controls now all of a sudden. The heck was that? A dwarf scroll? Also, can't get the game without Ethernet connection. Ethernet or internet? Like, just internet in general? Or... Like, don't you have Wi-Fi? Or nah? God dang, these bugs are the worst. God dang it. I hate these things so much. Can you frig off, bug? God dang, that's the worst. I think those are the ones you gotta hit them before they grow up. Like, before they turn into the nasty ones. Uh, Larry Man said PS5 always have games on sale. Pojav says it's a 2008 360. You have a 2008 360? And you can't, uh, you can't connect to the internet with it? Is that what you're telling me? You gotta be able to connect to the internet. Right? Thinking about convincing my mother to buy me an upgrade? Hey, that'd be nice. Get you, like, an Xbox One. Oh, hey, here we go. This is what I needed. Just what I freaking needed. All that good coal. I'm avoid the slime. Oh, god dang it. Not again. I'm just 
just gonna swing till I can't swing no more. Now this way we can do like one of these numbers. Go, 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 go! Whoa! Uh, Poop Mop says Forza Horizon 5 and 6 comes out in 2025. Yeah, I thought they were up to like pretty high, uh, number. Uh, Pojaf says it has no Wi Fi antenna. Hmm. Bean, does your Xbox 360. Your Xbox 360 hooks up to Wi Fi, right? I don't know what year it is. I don't think it's a 2008. No Wi-Fi adapter for it because you need e internet adapter for it to connect wireless internet. Larry Man says need a bigger sword. I do absolutely need a bigger sword. That's for sure. I'm having a rough time out here with some of these things. It's those bugs. Those annoying bugs that are so quick that they zip in and attack you. These bugs are easy peasy. Like one sm one smack, that's it. Slimes aren't so bad either. You kind of can avoid their attacks a little bit, but the real fast buzzing bug, that, that one's annoying. Majorly annoying. You kind of got to take out the monsters too, because they may be your route to getting a ladder. Like the ladders are random where they're going to appear, and so you kind of got to like go through this. A lot of times. God dang it. Not one of these. It's getting late. Fudge. I gotta get to the next level. It's getting late. Are you gonna be the latter one? I don't know how late I can stay out, but I need to get to the next level. It's the next milestone, basically. Gonna get me the next la uh, elevator. Yes, there we go. Frig yeah. We've unlocked the elevator. Now I gotta run home quick. Uh. Poop Mup says I don't have the internet adapter for wireless internet. Pojev had a 2013 360. It connected to Wi Fi, but had to upgrade. Uh, my aunt's 360 from 08 to a 13. Got it. Poop em up says it doesn't have the Wi-Fi adapter on it. Hmm. I just don't know. I thought it did. I thought, uh... I mean, I never had it hooked up to Ethernet. But I'm pretty sure I was able to go online with it so I'm not so sure I'm not so sure there Mr. poop em ups poop em ups has my old uh, Xbox 360 hey puppy alright it's bedtime let's see how much money we're gonna make and I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a day for today's episode Level 3 farming, watering can proficiency, hoe proficiency, new crafting recipe. Ooh, a bee house. I need that. Uh, seed grow and farmer's lunch. Sick. Foraging is upgraded. I can make a survival burger. Alrighty. Well, uh, anyways, guys, I am going to go ahead and call it a day for today's episode of Stardew Valley. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. It helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. So that way you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos. Join the Discord if you want to come by and chat. And uh, if you would like to help support the channel and also get a bunch of cool perks, it's only 99 cents to become a member here on YouTube. That will get you access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server. Join whenever you want or with me on Fridays and Tuesdays I've been streaming at. We've been doing a lot on there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, another great way to support would be just checking out some merch. Grab some of this if you're interested. We got cool shirts, cool hats. Link is in the description and on the channel pages and all that good stuff. Uh, but otherwise, thank you guys again for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.